Hello, welcome back to Informal Solutions. Today we are going to consider quadratic equations and inequalities. In our previous videos, we talked about linear equations and inequalities. I hope you are studying much on that. But today, let's see equations which are quadratic as well as inequalities. Okay. What kind of equations are termed as quadratic equations? Any equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 is a quadratic equation such that a is never equal to 0. So a can be all numbers apart from what? 0. You can take negative forms. They can take positive form, but they are never equal to what? zero. So that's a degree two equation. A degree two equation. So that's the quadratic equation for us. Okay, now assuming we want to make the coefficient of s squared unit as one, we divide two by the coefficient of what x, which is x squared, which is a. So dividing through by a, we are going to get x squared plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0. 0 over a is also what? 0 in that form. So this can also be another form in which we can write the quadratic equation. Okay, quadratic equation. Now let's place this one down and talk about something beautiful here. Sum and product of roots. Sum and product of roots. Now, when we talk of roots and the quadratic equations, it doesn't mean the roots we know for trees or plants, no. The roots here simply means the two values we get for x when we solve a quadratic equation. From JHS right down to SHS, we solved a whole lot of quadratic equations and we always get two values for what x. So those two values we get for x, we term them as what? Roots. As we are clear, on that, what we mean by sum and product of roots. Sum simply means addition. So when you say sum of roots, it means you are adding the two roots. Product of roots, it means you are multiplying the what? Two roots. So now let's take <coughs> this second general equation that we have here. That's x squared plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0 <coughs> as equation 1 on its own. So here we say that we have the x squared with a coefficient of 1, x with a coefficient of b over a, and a constant term of what? c over a, all being equal to 0. So when we have two roots, of a quadratic equation, we can generate the equation using the roots again. Assuming um, alpha and beta, okay? Let's assume alpha and beta are roots of this equation. Assuming when you solve this equation, you are going to get alpha and beta as your answer. How can we use alpha and beta to form the equation in which alpha and beta came from? This is what we do to form that equation. We use this relation x squared, which corresponds to this. We are going to use the roots. Now, we have this. When we have the roots alpha and beta, we have x squared here x squared plus b a x plus c a equals 0. 
you want to get something in this form using what the roots. So now instead of me writing this equation, as long as you don't know this equation, you want to use the roots to find the equation. Using the roots, we are going to have x minus the first root, which is alpha okay, times x minus the second root. So that's what we use. So we call this the factors of the quadratic equation. When we multiply the two factors here, we are going to get the quadratic equation. So let's expand the bracket. When we expand the bracket, we are going to get x squared minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha times beta. When we want to simplify this, we have x, we have x, we want to factorize the x out. When we factorize the x out, we are going to get x squared minus alpha plus beta in brackets x. Okay? And we factorize the x out and we factorize the negatives also out. We are left with alpha plus beta in the bracket plus what? Alpha beta. Okay? Alpha beta this step. So this becomes a general quadratic what? Equation for the roots alpha and beta. So anytime you have two roots alpha and beta, we can subtract alpha from x, make it a factor, subtract beta from x, make it a factor, then we multiply them together, then we expand and simplify. So this becomes a new equation for which we had alpha and beta. So we can now compare these two equations, okay? So we can see that here we are adding the word roots, that's alpha and beta, that's what we call sum of roots, and here we are multiplying the roots alpha and beta, and that's what we term as the product of roots. So we can name this equation two, so that we can make some comparisons here. Okay, when we get this, we'll be moving on to the comparison between these two equations, that's equation one and equation two, the general form and using the root. Now we can notice that s squared here and s squared here are the same. And we can also notice that So my left hand side is the equation 1, my right hand side is the what, equation 2. You can also notice that b over ax, okay, b over ax is also equal to negative the sum, the sum of the roots x, okay, negative sum of roots x. So it implies that if this x and that x are the same, then it means b over a and negative alpha plus beta are also what? The same. b over a is also equal to negative alpha plus beta. So we can send this negative sign there. Okay, we can divide it by negative one so that we'll be left with negative b over a equals alpha plus beta. So when we say sum of roots, it simply means the coefficient of x over the coefficient of x squared with what? A negative sign. That becomes a sum of what? Roots. Also taking the third term, that's the constant term, we have c over a, which is equal to the product of what? the roots. So C over A is called product of roots. Okay, so we have sum of roots here and what product of roots here and they are equivalent for what the main quadratic equation. Okay now assuming we are giving these two roots if two and three are roots 
of a certain quadratic equation which we don't know and we have to find that quadratic equation like we did here how do you go by that we said we always use the relation x minus the first root by x minus the second root which is 3 okay then we expand now when we are expanding this we are going to get x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 okay then we further simplify to get x squared minus 5x plus 6 so this becomes a quadratic equation in which we got the roots 2 and 3 so eventually when you solve this equation you will get the values of 2 and 3 for what uh, x so this is how we find out using the root to get an equation okay we will be ending today's tutorials here in our next video we will find out how to use other ways to get what new equations assuming you have been given a quadratic equation and the roots of another equation how can we find that other equation using each root by comparing the sum of roots and what product of roots till we meet again say goodbye